Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel where worship technique is being explored. My name is Richard Ayo and today I have the TF console. I want to demonstrate how to use the super rack on the TF5. So I have the console here with me. I have my super rack on my MacBook and today I'm using Mac 2015 for this demonstration. So And I want to I want us to bring it back to the TF console and show you guys how to use it, how to set it up on TF. So other consoles have their own way of setting it up, but on the TF it's kind of tricky. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'll open the super rack on my laptop and this is how it should look like. So I'm on view one and first of all, I'm going to go to setup and I'm going to bring in the audio device, which is my tier five. So most of the time, if your console, if you're not correctly on the right sample rate, it might be showing on this, it might be showing on this uh, console that the sample rate does not match. So what you do is check your sample rate and it's going to display your sample rate. So you just correct that and there you go. The buffer size, it all depends on your CPU power, your CPU speed. So for for this demonstration, I'm going to be using 256 buffer size for this video. So I have my input source and my mic is coming in from input 25. So, and the output is going out to the same 25. So, on a normal circumstance, if you load the, the super rack the first time, it's going to send each input to the same output in, a, in an uh, ascending order. It's going to send it that same way. One to one, two to two, three to three, just like that. So, but on the on the TF console, we're going to route things differently. So I'm going to send my output to 26, 26, and we're going to go to the console now and change this input to USB. So we have changed that to USB and we should be receiving audio from the super rack. So my, I'm going to do this again. So I should be receiving audio. If you could see my signal is coming in very well to the super rack and is going out to the, to the console. Let's just confirm this. So it's going out to the console. When you look at the console here, you could see on the meter, it's showing that my signal is coming in to the console from the super rack. So let's use one of the plugins to kind of test this out and hear what it does. So I'm going to use um, I'm going to use the C6. I'm going to use the C6 and I'm going to use the PSE. So let me put the PSE and the C6 so we kind of hear what those plugins are doing on the console. So C6. Yeah, I've gotten it. So, so this is the uh, this is the PSE, which works as a gate. It's kind of remove removing the background noise, and it's clearing out your vocal. So I'm going to switch the two audio. I'm going to bring down D1. 
the one that is coming directly to my console and and give you guys the one that is coming from the super app so this is the one. this is the one from the super app and i'm going to use the pse plugin and you just listen to what it does you might want to do this with your headphone so you could hear how it cleans the audio and let's go to the c6 i'm going to load one of the one of the presets here just for to save us time i'm going to load one of the let's go we can push c6 on can push presets and this is how it sounds so i'm going to take take them out so you he, listen to them so this is without the plugins no plugins i add the c6 and i add the pse and that is what it does thank you guys for watching this video subscribe share with your friends like comment below if you want to see more of these videos i have this same video that i'm going to do on the beringa wing if you want to see video like that please ring the little bell below so that anytime i post a new video you'll be notified thank you guys for watching